I'm often bombarded by tons of comments like this. Guys thinking that if you're natural, you cannot train more than two days per week. And guys also thinking that if you're enhanced, it means you should be lifting seven days per week. And on top of that, you just can magically recover from anything you do in the gym. Or just the simple fact that they think training should be very different between the two. But the fact is, it's actually not. So let me explain a bit more. I coach people all around the world. Some of them happen to be natural, some of them happen to be enhanced. Some of them happen to be on hormone replacement therapy. Three very different categories of what's actually going on inside the body. Many other factors as well. But when it comes to training, I hate to break it to you. There's actually not that much different going on. And despite the same goal, being muscle building or fat burning, the most significant difference in training between these three groups, that actually comes down more to experience level, age, lifestyle, and skill as a lifter. See, most people think that if you take a very genetically average lifter and you put him on a basic training plan, let's say he's progressing very well on a basic three to five day split, and now he wants to go on PEDs. Suddenly, he turns into Wolverine. They think now that his recovery is enhanced, which it is to some degree, that now he's gonna go from training four days per week all the way up to seven days. They think he's never gonna feel beat up, fatigued, or need recovery from training. And they think that he's gonna jump from hitting body parts twice per week up to three times per week. Because again, he has this superhuman recovery ability. But what's actually gonna happen here? If it's someone that doesn't know how to train or diet properly, which unfortunately, most people using PEDs fall into this category, and he thinks that PEDs are the answer because he learned it online from some influencer, and he's still 150 pounds soaking wet, benching 135 pounds. Yeah, if he's no longer natural, he could probably train a bit more frequently. He can probably recover faster and handle a bit more volume, but he's still not big or strong, despite crossing over to the dark side. That's not helping anyone make more progress in the gym. But what if we're talking about guys that are actually serious about training? We're talking about a natural lifter that's put in years of work in the gym. And we're talking about natural bodybuilders taking it to the advanced stages versus a now enhanced lifter. The difference with the now enhanced lifter, he's gonna build more muscle, he's gonna get stronger, and now he's gonna be training with weights that he never would have touched as a natural lifter. Sure, he will get some increases in recovery ability, but his ability to f himself up is gonna be that much higher. And the really big and strong enhanced lifters, they're not saying, let's train chest again today because I'm already recovered from yesterday. They're saying, I'm so trash from yesterday's workout that I'm gonna need a few more days to recover. So while an intermediate lifter that I'm working with might be doing well on a four to five day training split, he might be recovering well, so we'll aim to maximize his frequency of body parts being hit. He might be doing moderate volume and he's doing well hitting body parts twice per week. He's recovering just in time for the next session. He's progressively getting stronger and the weights he's generally training with are two to three plates on bench and three to four plates on a squat. He's a skilled lifter, but he has some room to grow in terms of maximizing every single set and rep in the gym. Now, I can also put an enhanced lifter on that exact same training plan, but he is a more skilled lifter. Maybe he's been in the gym for 15 or even 20 years. He's probably gotten brutally strong over time. Now, he's training with three to four plates on the bench and four to five plates on the squat. His three hard sets of bench are gonna create so much more fatigue, way more than a less experienced lifter can do with the same three hard sets on the bench. Now, of course, the PEDs do play a factor here. His ability to induce much more fatigue, even from one single set, is greatly enhanced. So in most cases, the additional assistance and recovery that's gained from becoming enhanced, it's almost completely washed out as a result of this new strength gain. But I wanna stress something here. It's the more skilled lifter, the stronger lifter. That's what makes the difference in the training plan. And the PEDs may or may not play a role here at all. If you have someone on PEDs that doesn't know how to handle his diet or his training plan, and as a result, he's just not carrying much more muscle mass than the average person or lifting heavier weights in the gym than the average person does, and then you have a top tier natural lifter, let's say he's super meticulous with his diet and his training, he's putting up numbers in the gym that most people can't, natty or not, he's actually gonna be a better candidate for the advanced training methods, rather than the guy that's enhanced that has no business being so. So you might think you need more rest because you're natural, but you're actually not creating nearly as much fatigue as the enhanced athlete is. You need more rest if you're generating more fatigue than you can recover from. And the bottom line is the basics work well for everyone. And most people can get very good results without going too far outside the box. You just need to tailor the volume, frequency, and intensity for your recovery ability. Starting out with very basic setups and slowly adjusting those over time as you become a more advanced lifter. And if you're not at those advanced stages yet, hammer the basics, get brutally strong, and then at that point, 
you won't be arguing about natty or not online. You'll know how to get big and strong and what you need to do to progress as a bigger, stronger lifter. And if you want the basic training programs that I recommend to build more muscle using proven old school bodybuilding methods, all my old school mass game programs are down below. And as always, if you wanna see more of the best original bodybuilding content just like this, make sure to hit subscribe.